Hi everyone, I'm John Page today and I want to play with my brushes. Now you don't have to have brushes. I will explain all the other stuff you can use. Basically anything that is water reactive can be used. So let's start. I'm starting with uh, this yellow and I'm putting it on a non-porous surface. Anything I can do. This is just some a uh, folio that i have which is so glossy it's almost plastic so i'm working on this and i'm just putting down some of the yellow and i'm going to spray it with water i can uh, also take some a uh, brush with water just to make sure it spreads and dissolves with the water whatever is easier for you and uh, now i'm taking this piece of acetate again another uh, non-porous surface and i'm picking this and just laying it on my page whatever goes goes so that's just the start and you can play with it however you want and if you don't have brushes the other things that i found that is a little bit similar to brushes are a textile dyes that come in powder i also got them i put them before i had brushes that what i had and i put them in this kind of containers and i work with them the same way so that's another thing that you can use and otherwise you can use watercolors you can use gelatos you can <laughs> use um <laughs> i forgot the word uh, there are water soluble uh, oil pastels anything because you just put them on the non porous surface, activate them with water and do the same thing. So I've got the yellow. I'm now uh, taking a darker yellow. I'm building up uh, the layers. If I can <laughs> call it layers. So again, just putting some water and... Here we go. Almost, almost the same. And I can, of course, can decide that I am taking the brushes directly to the page. Really up to you. I'm playing, I'm creating some layered background of this a uh, puddles of paint for that <laughs> that's the best description that i can uh, give you okay moving on to this uh, orange color you can also use a uh, distress inks you just uh, smoosh the ink the ink pad on the non porous surface again spray it with water and do the same thing here we go Just trying to have fun with it and variation in the color. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Now I want to see. I just uh, said about the distressings, and I want to see how this looks a uh, spiced marmalade. So I'm just squishing it here. I'm hoping to get a darker orange. If not, not. 
once again. Okay, almost the same. Yep. Now I'm uh, thinking, uh, do I want something darker like red or I've got scarlet here? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit more water so it won't be that dark I'm trying to move uh, it on the page so I won't have straight lines I want puddles I want stains of color okay now I'm happy with my start of a background, so I'm going to let this dry completely and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is dry and now I want to add some details, visual texture to my background. I've picked some uh, stamps. I've got these stamps. Uh, all this I bought on AliExpress a long time ago. And I'm thinking some dots and text because I always love text in the background. And let's see, let's take this one. So I've got this too. And I picked another <laughs> a stamp. This one I made from Craft Foam. Really a simple to make something like that, I believe. Uh, I also, uh, there is a video how I made this stamp in one of my uh, videos about making your own stamp, making your own sprays, making your own stencils. There are several of them, so it's in one of them uh, about how to make your own stamps. So, uh, we'll see. I'm starting with these two and let's take some acrylic block. I'm putting this on and it's not sticking. Okay. And I'm thinking instead of using a, instead of using a ink pad, I'm going to try and do it with the brushes and maybe it will keep with this watercolor um, look. So again, just doing it like this. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. Or maybe not with acrylic block. If I'm using it like this with all kinds of water, <laughs> then yeah just going on with the same look of a uh, water yeah and let's see how it looks with my ladybug okay so it's just an impression it's not precise but I like it yeah okay so this was <laughs> an experiment a nice one wiping so I won't make a mess I'm not throwing away the baby wipe I will just have something more to use in the future. Sometimes I've used baby wipes 
in the background just glue them in and sometimes I just tear them into strips and use them to put in uh, the tags so just let this dry and you will have a nice thing to work with nothing goes to waste okay so text in the back now I think I will use an ink pad and I'm I want it to be a little bit more visible so I'm going a little darker with aged mahogany and let's see where is the top <laughs> okay it doesn't have to be precise again it's just part of the background i think i'll leave it be next next comes yay the focal point so i already got some focal points and i will explain how i made them i'll show you what i've got i've put them in, in this so they will flatten i've got all this <laughs> I took one of the pages I made with brushes. I have a video that I experimented with brushes, and I will put a link below in the description box. Here are some of uh, the ones we I've done on video. So I just took one of them, and what I've done is I just flipped it over and made whatever I wanted to do so I'm going to show you let's take I don't know let's take this one and I will explain why did I flip it over because I didn't want to waste time thinking what will come I just wanted to flip it over and do some if it's branches, if it's uh, flowers, if it's butterflies, whatever you want, you can do. So I can do a branch. And of course, then you will need to fussy cut it. So that's what I've done. And I, you can also take a stencil you have that you like. Let's see. Here we go. Like you can take a stencil. You can... Uh, trace the shape and then fussy cut it another way to go about it now I went and done uh, all kinds of branches as you can see and then with the leftovers I used some of my punches and punched uh, flowers and butterflies and whatever even in small uh, leftovers I can show you just so you will see how you can use everything and here we go the small pieces all kinds of flowers and uh, butterflies and hearts it, this is what was left that i haven't used yet so i've really used the whole page you you can just do circles you, you can do whatever you want and cut out of it you can cut strips and have fun with it and i like to just flip it over and let go so i've got several options here and let's see let's take this one maybe <laughs> also maybe <laughs> just too short for this page I'm thinking what the heck I'm going with this one okay so just moving this aside for other projects and I really like it but I want to give it a little bit more a uh, definition and I'm just going to take a permanent marker black permanent marker and what I want you to do is go around very loosely around the shape 
like so and also go over again so it would be really loose looking very free so I've got some work to do here I'm going to come back when I'm finished uh, doing this a uh, free line around my uh, shape okay I'll be back okay so I've got my branch here and just some finishing touches first of all I had here some uh, masking tape I removed it and I got a little bit of a straight line here that I don't like so I want to do the same thing I've done all over the background here just so I won't have a, the straight line and it just reminded me another technique that you can use I have some felt pens, pens uh, and you can do the same thing with felt pens you just you, you can hardly see it because maybe on white but you do like this and once again you activate it with water and then you smoosh it where you want to now a acrylic block is not the optimal thing to use here because of the spiral but I can't oh here it is <laughs> okay here we go once again just activating you can hardly see it it really doesn't matter what firm what brand just what, use what you have let's go with another a little bit more a little bit darker So that's another way to go about it. Of course, a felt pens won't be as concentrated as the other stuff, but you can still do something with them. And so, one more thing that I want to do, I really like how the branch is standing on, it pops on the page, but I want to connect between this and the background. So I figured I'll just take another stamp of uh, dots this one is smaller than the other one and I'm going to take a turquoise ink pad this one is from a uh, Versamark really doesn't matter and I'm just going to randomly stamp around like so And now I'm happy and that's it for my page. Simple, quick, and I love it. So thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.